Watching Goddesses. Okay. I am your host, Nancy Goddess. Very good. And um, I'm going to introduce to you uh, Heaven. Yes. How are you, Heaven? I'm good. We're, this is the second half of the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. And you are from where? Brooklyn. Just in case people just are tuning in. Uh -huh. So that's why we're doing that. Oh, okay. So we're letting people know because sometimes they just change the dial. Uh -huh. So you're having from where? From Brooklyn. From Brooklyn. Yes. And you're getting your makeup done. Yes, right? I am. You're getting your eyebrows done. It looks pretty natural. It looks great. Thank you. I want to get mine done like that. <laughs> And you are a mayor. Nice yes, to meet nice you. Nice meeting you. Thank you for it's having me. Your first me. time here, right? Yes. And I love the way you're doing her eyebrows. Thank you. And earlier, in case the viewers weren't watching earlier, I um, wanted to know how you got the eyebrow like that. Yes. Again, we can show the viewers just in case also, they tune in. How they contact her? Uh, how? Um, yes. You guys could contact me on Instagram, YouTube. I am on YouTube now by Queen America, which is on the screen right now. Um, also, if you want to just do the my at name on Instagram, it is at Makeup by Mir, which is the M E I R, or you can just search me as Queen America. I should pop up for you. That'd be great. And mention <laughs> that you saw on Goddesses. That way, you know. Yes. That you know that they're serious about you know you doing it. What about Sweet Sixteens? Because now uh, with the Sweet Sixteen parties, <laughs> they get a little blush uh, and makeup, and all those little girls want to look good. And yes. not that little anymore. Mm -hmm. No, so children's parties. I mean, sixteen is almost adult. Yeah, you know, it's almost you know, there. Yeah. When I was you sixteen. I want you to call in. Um, Jolly is saying something to me and I don't hear you. What time? Call in, the one that was supposed to Skype. Oh, she can call in now. I'm going to call now. So, um, the Sweet Sixteen parties are great also. Yes. I mean, actually, um, did you ever try making, like, um, designs on faces? Did you ever try that other than makeup? Um, I have, like for breast cancer. A couple years ago, I, I did, did like see a... Halloween stuff. Mm -hmm. I had pictures. I didn't roll it in, but I maybe next time we could. Some, yeah. You did some Halloween. Mm -hmm. I did a skull face. Yes. I was, and that was interesting. It was very Halloween. fun. You can do that for children, <laughs> too. Definitely. Yeah. For different shows and fundraisers and things yeah, like that. Yeah, that would be, really be nice, too. Um, because sometimes children, uh, you know, they have theme parties. Mm -hmm. So that's why I wanted to know if you ever had gone to a children's party and did their makeup. Well, like I've done like little fundraiser events where it's like, you know, pretty much artwork and stuff like that. Like I would draw a spider or, you know, oh, like butterflies. Oh, that's cute. So then like the that. mothers out there could contact you. <laughs> yes. Well, we have Emily on the phone. Hi, Hi Emily. Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi, Nancy. How are you? <laughs> My goodness, I am so happy to have you on the phone. Oh, I so wish I could have made it in there today. How are you doing? I'm good now that I'm hearing your voice. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm good. These two girls, they're from FIT. Oh, they're beautiful. I love oh, and, and thank they're, you. They're young. They're young. We're talking about 21, maybe. <laughs> I don't, not too sure, but they're of age 21, maybe, 22. I'm, I'm 22. Not sure. But listen, do you remember when we were 21? Let me do your contour, highlight. So, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing really, really well. So, tell us, tell us about today. Tell me. I, I was saying that uh, March 16, we're, we're going to be at the Hilton Hasbrook Heights. Yes, and I am planning on being there. I have to celebrate your birthday. And not only mine, there are other March birthdays too. They need to come. Absolutely. Yes. And well, um, I'm definitely trying to bring my group out. Yeah, and also, um, you know, Chris has that magazine. Yes, uh, Bold Magazine. Yes, and when I was talking to Chris uh, from Bold Magazine, uh, maybe if he can't come, because we have problems Skyping today, so we did it this way. 
Yeah. Uh, and um, so he says, oh, I would love to do that. Come on the show and da 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 Because when is the Bold Magazine going to be start working on? When is that going to happen? Um, Bold Magazine should be going to print this summer. Ooh. Um, an online magazine. Online, because he also said to me that he was going to do a print. Yes, that'll start this summer. Oh my God, that's great. Yeah. Is it online now, though? Yes, it's boldbeam.com. Oh, wow, that's great. Yes, he, he does amazing things. I work for, uh, for him also. Um, and it's, it's an awesome publishing that he's doing. All right, so you can tell Chris we gave a shout out there to the magazine. Definitely, we want everybody to know about it. And, yeah, and we, what is we he? We would love to be able to both make a trip out there, um, maybe for your next episode or sometime soon. It's every fourth Thursday of the month. Okay. And also, if you, I know that you have uh, large and lovely women who perform, Beautiful. we have a large room for performance. Okay. So, and we have a larger room for audience. Oh, that would be great. That's so we can talk on the phone about that. But the Bold Magazine, Chris is a very nice person. And yeah, definitely, um, you know, goddesses. Uh, my goodness, we've been out there since 1984. These young girls weren't born yet. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going to goddesses for about 12 years now. Wow. Yeah, I remember, I can't remember the name of the bar, but you had two floors. And you're pretty young, too. I'm in my late 30s. <laughs> you're pretty young. Yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> and and also, um, you know, I was thinking, I says, oh, maybe Bold Magazine, uh, are they covering, like, BBW events and things like that? Are they doing that also? Yes. They are, um, we, what Bold does, generally, they'll do daytime events. So a lot of the bashes that you see that are planned, for 2019, Bold is partnering with them and he'll do different types of seminars, um, speed dating, he'll do a clothing swap, and he'll take over daytime events. He does that for my events also. Oh, wow. So yeah, we, we, would, we would have done that with you if you would have mentioned it. Yeah, it, it's a great service that he offers. Yes, you, definitely. But yeah, I wanted to talk to you because um, my goodness, because I know that um, the photography, if you took pictures for the March um, 16 for his magazine, that would even, that would, might work out. I'm not sure if he would be interested, though. Yeah, I will definitely give him, um, I'll have a conversation with Tonight him. Tonight, I'll call you if you're around. Oh, yeah. Anytime. And because I have to find out. Yeah, because I also, uh, you know the, the girl that does the uh, Rocky Rose, right? Um, in Connecticut? No, she makes t-shirts. Oh, yes, Aya, yes. Uh, t-shirts. she does shapely events. Shapely uh, events. Yes. yes. Let me tell you, she's wonderful. Special thanks to her. Oh, she's and big hug. Her. She's a wonderful person. And I had her here, too, and uh, she, the Shirts are fabulous. Big girls rock. You know, I have a few of her t-shirts. So I'm hoping that she's going to make it, you know, to bring her t-shirts. So we welcome people to bring and promote their items. And also, uh, you know, if it, it has to do with positive, size positive accepting, you know, we want everyone to be welcome. Oh, absolutely. You know, to do that, because it's important that, because we're family. And it is. It, it's a, it's a it's community that we all need to stick Right. And, and this is the only thing that I really know. This is like my whole life. And it means so much to me. And it brings me so much happiness. Even when I go to another person's event, even some, I mean, I don't dance because I w had some issues right now with my own health, but mm -hmm. uh, just going and seeing people makes me happy because yeah. I said, wow, look at this. Absolutely. After so many I was years. I so happy to see you at the Bold Africa. Yeah, and I was so happy to see people and a few that I knew. And even the new people to meet is great. You, you know, you meet, you meet new people and you meet the old friends that you know. 
and and that's what makes the world and and it's great to ha and it's family you don't have to be blood to be family oh no i completely agree with you I know that there were a lot of other women there um, that I didn't meet before, but they were all wonderful at the event that I that I went to um, that day. Yeah, we had a very good crowd. It was um, they were very nice, the beautiful girls, the gentlemen. They were very nice, and um, they they're very friendly people, and so that's why I tell everyone. Because sometimes they say, oh, it's only for large and lovely. No, it's for the large and lovely and admirers. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. thin people love mm -hmm. curvy, and, and especially men. There are a lot of large size men, and women love that. Oh, absolutely. Definitely. You know, we have a lot of. Um smaller women that come to our events too because they're so supportive. Right. And so back in the day, in the 90s mm -hmm. or the late 80s, there were no thin women coming in. They were just plus size women and that was before the gastric bypass. Yeah. And so I'm not going to get into it, but what I'm going to say is that there, most of the men were, were average size men and they just happen to just adore and love big women. And we never had a thin woman walk into the party. So one day, one of the girls said to me, I really want to go to the party. You know, why can't I go? I says, and why not can't you go? Oh, because maybe the girls don't want me. I says, no. Everyone is welcome. It's size acceptance, and they have to know that. And yeah. that's important. For it people to important. understand I that that is important, agree. size acceptance, because the same way that people make fun at fat people, and I'll use that word fat, people make fun at skinny people too. Exactly. It, it's all about accepting yourself for exactly Exactly. So that's why I say it's size acceptance, no matter yeah. who you are. So it's so important, Emily. Yeah. So that's and why I wanted to come across that point. Because sometimes it says, oh, goddesses is only for fat people, or goddesses is only for fat women. Yeah, it did start out to be that. Because there were no clothes for us at that time. Exactly. And also, I want to put a shout out there for NAFA in Las Vegas. NAFA.com, they're having a big anniversary party. Yeah. And Peggy Williams will be there, of course. And uh, Phil Bar Fabre is actually the founder. Their website is nafaonline.org. Nafa dot... Nafaonline.org. Nafa... Online. Online <laughs> dot org. Okay. So they're, gonna, they're in Las Vegas. Unfortunately, that breaks my heart that they're so far away. I know. That's the only problem. It does break my heart because before they were here for many years. So yeah. But they just seems to be turning into uh, kind of an epicenter for uh, plus positive events and no. nightclubs and seminars. So no, and that's fine. And and they had helped a lot of people, and and it's great. You want to help people. I mean, the yeah. show that Goddesses does is a variety show, and we had mothers come here. They would call me on the phone and say, Nancy, children are making fun at my daughter. She's over oh. She was only seven years old. Wow. And the girl was not, I would say she wasn't, she was overweight, but she wasn't overweight, overweight, like, you know, exaggeration, you know, like real yeah. overweight. Mm -hmm. Because there's overweight and then there's overweight. And the kids were making fun at her. So I had her here on the show. And her mother was full of figure. Mm -hmm. And we made a princess out of her, and she modeled, and we had a dress on her, and we crowned her. So oh, what we do great. here is size accepting, accepting yourself, even if you're a child, but you have to have your mom with you, of course. So, yeah. and, and, and not only that, the, to tell you something else, there was a woman who needed a kidney, no what? lie. Yeah. We had her here on the show, and I don't know if it's up online. She got a kidney. We got her a kidney. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, she's alive now, 
She was here around Christmas time several years ago. Her cousin called me and she says, Nancy, uh, my cousin is dying and she needs a kidney. I says, I can't help you. I says, you have to go on the waiting list and this is, you know, you got to do this, this and that. Mm -hmm. And it's a long story. It was in the, all the newspapers because I had a friend that was in the Daily News and we bought it a deal. I had her on my show. New, I don't want to mention what newspaper. He says to me, if you give me the story, your name doesn't get mentioned. I said, okay, don't mention my name. I'm going to give you the story. Raise the money, $12,000. Wow. The newspaper raised the money. A law firm gave $12,000 because her father was the only one that could give her the kidney, and he was in jail. Oh, wow. And that's how much it costs to take that person out and bring him back and forth, security. Oh, geez. She's still alive. But she cried because people wrote bad letters to her. She says, I will never do it again through the newspaper. They were very mean to me. Mm. Because he was in jail. And I understand the public, what they, what they were trying to say. I'm just saying, that was something that I brought up to you. Yeah, but people are cruel totally because yeah, they're attacked payers, they're life. Right. But you're saving a girl's life. Forget about him being in jail. Right. You're saving exactly. this poor girl's life with two little children. Oh. So those are the things we do. It's a variety show. Yes, it's goddesses, yes it's fashion shows, yes it's beauty, but it's also health and wealth and helping people if you can. Right. And and that's yeah. what it is. You wanna help people because you know when we leave when we leave here you have to figure out where we're gonna go once we're gone <laughs> if we're gonna burn or not that's very true <laughs> I'd rather not <laughs> exactly so I'm hoping to see you and I'm hoping everything goes well with you yes and you also and um, next month well, I'll call you when I get home if you're available, if you're, if you're home. Yes, I am. Uh, give me a call whenever you want. Thank you, and I can't wait to see uh, Bold Magazine, you said? Yes, Bold Magazine. Okay. Oh, love it. And Curves also. Oh, I yes. With, um, I'm sure you know Larry Love. Yeah. Yes, of course. Larry Love used to DJ for goddesses. He Oh, well, he's, um, I partner with him in cursing, and he's still DJing for us. Let me ask you something. Was yes. he sick last month or something? Is he okay? He was very sick. He's doing much better now. Thank you. Is he, is he good enough to DJ? Who took his place? Um, it, was, it, was a, it was an interesting night. <laughs> um, he got sick the night of our event. Yeah, okay, well, tell him that I wish him well, and I'll talk oh, to you more about it. I know him, and I, I like his music also. He's had, oh, he's he, I love his guy. music, yes. He, I like the music he plays. Yes, I will And I really wanted to go to that event, and I couldn't get there. My person that was going to take me canceled on me because her grandchildren got sick. Oh. So well, I didn't have a ride at the last minute. Oh. So because I'm in Queens. Yeah. That was the reason why. And I never, ever, honestly, travel alone. No, it, it's a hard drive, especially at night. And it's not an easy trip. Well, it all depends on the situation. Because of my situation, mm -hmm. I can't travel alone. Okay. Okay, so thank you so much for calling in. You see these girls are doing a great job. They're yes. young. They're, they're trying to get out there. And, and, and she's, she's putting on eyelashes. We need to get them to <laughs> put eyelashes on us. Are you, can you come over now with your mind? <laughs> I love it. Yes. Well, listen, right, Nancy, thank, thank you. you. Thanks so for much. calling in. Love you. Love you, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye, honey. She's sweet. Super I can't wait sweet. to the magazine. Oh my God, I love that. I, <laughs> how, did you, how did you do that? It was like, how long did it take? How long was you guys' conversation? Like no, 10 we minutes? Just, right, we were just talking. Yeah, and we're now, like done. When you, put the, done. when you put that lash on, mm -hmm. and you put 
is the glue on it already or do you put glue yes. separate? Because so, I never ever had fake glasses and I always wanted it. So you put the glue on there. I use the strip lash adhe adhesive glue. Can I see that? Yes. yes. So, and it's with aloe, so it is healthy. <laughs> Some products you just have to kind of make sure that oh, they're good. Oh, it's with good. aloe, and it's yes. from Kiss. And where did, you, mm -hmm. where did you get this You from? can get that from your local beauty supply store. Mm -hmm. You can get it from Target. And so it's not allergic? No. So See, it's I was always good. afraid I would be allergic, yeah. so I never put, and, and I love it. It looks, that I like. <laughs> Dramatic. Yes. Very dramatic. I like dramatic. And I'm dramatic, so. <laughs> You're dramatic, Miss Heaven. I thought you were an angel. Uh, I'm so extra. <laughs> Look at you. Yes. That is. Now, Amir, yes. how long, honestly, would something like that stay on with that type of glue? Would it um, be it one depends. day or one weekend? It depends, because actually I did go on vacation with my family, mm -hmm. and my cousin, she, it was her birthday, she was like, I have to, you have to put lashes on me, you have to mm -hmm. do my brows. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, put these lashes on you. You have to not be mm -hmm. like rubbing in your eye or nothing like that, so it will last. So it depends on how you go about your day and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So if I go to bed tonight and I just wash my face, I can take my makeup off and don't touch my lashes, and I'll be good. Mm -hmm. Don't put any last. soap and water no soap, on the no, lashes. No water. Don't be rubbing your eye, then it's gonna come off. But like maybe like I know some people can go for like a week. I know I can personally go for like two days. I never <laughs> experienced lashes, yeah. so it would be hard for me. Look at I keep putting this hat on because the same patty. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's coming. It's beautiful. Yes. But yeah, so so I think it looks really, and you know what? Her face looks nice and natural. Yes. Very natural. So this is like an everyday I look. I like the eyebrows. The I need to try to get my eyebrows like that yes. and get the right type of um, product. Yes, on my Instagram, not my Instagram, my YouTube, I actually have an eyebrow tutorial that's on there. So if you are looking for that, you can check that out. Also, I have different tutorials, um, you know, makeup looks and stuff like Jessie that. For tips and tricks. Jessie. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, Jesse. Hi. Hello. I was wondering, sorry, what are the lash, what are the lashes made of? They are made of mink. Mink lashes, oh. actually. I got them off Amazon. You can find amazing deals off Amazon for the low. <laughs> I got like a whole package of like five, one, two, three, four, five for like twelve dollars. So they're really good, especially if you're like a makeup artist where you can just give them out for your clients, you know, so it'll be easier. Versus going to the dollar store or something to get one pair for five dollars. Do you like them better than the magnetic ones? Um, oh. these are more easy. They're easy for me. Like this is something that I've always been accustomed to. I know a lot of people are getting like individuals now, but I like just putting on and taking off <laughs> at night. So yes, definitely. Okay, thank you. No You're problem. Welcome. Thank you for calling. Bye. Now the type that she mentioned. What type of eyelashes? I. I the What's magnetic, the magnetic one. Yeah. Magnetic. What do you mean? Like it just sticks? It has like a magnet on like one side of the eyelashes, right. like the mm -hmm. strip, and then on the other side it has like magnets as well. So right. it just snaps on, mm -hmm. kind of like clicks onto your eyelash. Like that clip oh, your it eye snaps on. <laughs> it's like so a does magnet. It tear your eyelashes apart? No, it shouldn't. No, it's, it just terrifies me <laughs> because I don't have much eyelash. <laughs> I agree with you. I feel like it wouldn't like rip off your eyelashes yet because it's magnetic. No, maybe it works. Maybe it works for some people. Yeah. Somebody told me that castor oil, if yes. you put it on every mm -hmm. night, I'm going to try it, makes your eyelashes grow. It yes. Castor oil. It does. It does. The dark that and castor oil. Yep. Yes. Oh, really? I'm going to try castor oil. I'm going to try that. Yes. Because I don't hardly, I used to pick all my eyebrows out. I mean, not my eyebrows. Your eyelashes. My eyelashes. I have no reason why you. I feel like I, if you find a good mascara too, and just like keep building it mm -hmm. to get I that know. drama. It doesn't do nothing for me because <laughs> I, my eyelashes are so thin. I feel like you have to find that really good one that like helps you like volumize and like your lips and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So we. Right. So you girls dance. I can dance. Hello. Do a little wine. So I want to see you dance. <laughs> I want to see you dance at the park. Yes. It's going to be a great time. It is. Celebration. So now, do you have a group of friends you're going to bring? Oh, oh yes. Oh, Absolutely. 
a lot of people Do you know. have any friends that live in Jersey that go to FIT? I actually have a friend that's on the same program as me. She's from Jersey City, and I'm definitely going to be like, girl, let's oh, let go to yes. the party. <laughs> let her know. It's going to be fun, yeah. She could pick us up. <laughs> you could even bring some of your stuff with you. Maybe somebody might want you to... Do some makeup looks? Yes. yes. Yeah. I'll text you when I get home. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yes. Bring some of your lashes with you in case they want some of that done. Yes. Done early. Yes. Just I'll talk to you about that. Yeah. That's a good idea, right? <laughs> yes. I think it's a great that'd idea. Good. Mm -hmm. I'll be your assistant, I hope. No, yeah. That would be great. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Because there's another young lady coming, which is Kelly. Mm. And she's going to bring the lotions and the potions. Oh. Oh, I need fun. to get a so lotion. She's going to give out some prizes. So there's going to be prizes given out. Oh, that's so much fun. On March 16 at the Hilton Hasbrook Heights, we're having a goddess party. So please check out the website or call the number at the end. We'll have it. So remember, March 16 at the Hilton Hasbrook Heights Hotel. Yes. Yes. Mark it. <laughs> So send you on Instagram, right? Yes, of oh, course. All right, put that March. Yes, there. I would definitely will. Heaven know, Chanel right? is my Instagram. Sure. Yeah. Yes. So we're gonna play great music. Mm -hmm. We should have a hashtag. Let's have a hashtag. So yeah. We can like every everyone's attention. Yes, do that also. Absolutely. And by the way, some of your friends, right? some artists because by the way we have artists come here too sometimes we do release parties oh. for up and coming artists we also have them come and perform so if you have any friends oh, i definitely have really friends <laughs> Yes. Yes. Artists or yeah. They're just coming out. They're coming out, but like I have a one friend. He like just signed a contract with yeah. somebody. Yeah. So, but he may not be able to come here if he signed the contract. Maybe I could talk to him about it. But if so, then I'm pretty sure he'd be. Okay, well I'll be talking to you. But we have your number, right? Yes. Okay, great. So. I really enjoyed finding glow. out all glow. these things. I love your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> your eyebrows need to get like that. I yes. Guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I have a lot of eyebrow. I just have to shape it up. Mm -hmm. And yes. I can get that with the, the right concealer. Okay. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Yes. You look absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I wish you good luck. Thank and you. Your graduation's coming yeah, in May, right? I can't wait. Good luck. <laughs> it's going to be great. Yes. It's going to be wonderful, right? Yes, it's going to be beautiful. I have two graduates. And thank you. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope to see everybody March 16 at the party and happy Mardi Gras Tuesday. Oh. Bye, everybody. Hey. <laughs>